That's so pretty. Do not step on the fire, but here it is. I can't? Are you sure? I've done it, but I'd recommend we not, because no. I would like to enjoy the beach. No, no jumping over the fire. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice here. I like it here. Look how pretty. I love Vespucci. It is pretty. I'd die before I fucking leave this place. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, like, I love the ballas, but this mm -hmm. is this is a lot prettier than the sap side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot easier on your head as well. True. Very true. That's why I love it here. It's quiet. Unless we're shooting people and it's not very quiet. Just gonna capture this for the... I think the last shootout we got into bond. with cops. I think it was, like, last week. They came down here trying to arrest one of the pushers down here. And we all just sort of strapped up, got on roofs, and blasted. We took down, like, eight of them, I think. But they pretty much sent the whole department down here. <laughs> they don't like us very much. They oh, take y'all real seriously. Holy shit. They do. So if they come down here, they come down here in absolute force. It's been a nice day. It has I've enjoyed been a nice our time day. together. I feel like I don't know. I I hardly know you though. I feel like I've I I don't hmm. know. You can ask me anything you like. I mean, I feel I'm like. Not, I'm not very much of a, a sharer, of, unless someone like someone asks. I don't really think of things to talk about myself unless someone asks me. But I'll answer anything. I mean, I guess how did you how did you get wrapped, wrapped up in all of this? I mean, what what led you? I mean, what led you here? And then what led me here? Yeah, you know, to to San Andreas, and then what what led you to? The BBMC after that, I guess. What led me to San Andreas was, uh, well, I grew up around a motorcycle club. My father was actually the president of one. Um, I grew up around it, but I was never in it. I was pretty young. And then, uh, well, one day when I was about 16, shit with the club went south. Uh, my dad disappeared. I don't know where he went, but the scene I was pulling away from, where he was at, I just heard gunshots, and I, uh, you know, I haven't seen him since, so I just assumed the worst. And then, uh, when I was 16, I just left. Decided to get my life together. Decided maybe, you know, that kind of life wasn't for me based on seeing the shit my dad went through. And then, um, you know, went to school. Went to college. Graduated when I was 21. Started pursuing a astrophysics degree, but then, uh, I found a lady. A very nice one. Uh, They're the worst. They ruin you. <laughs> well, she didn't do it intentionally. But um, she, uh, I loved her very much. Uh, I asked her to marry me. She was my fiance. And the worst thing I did was I got her addicted to heroin at the time. Oh. And uh, she ended up overdosing. And the reason I hate cops so much is not because of my dad, but because the cops who came to the scene refused to give her Narcon. They were just more worried about me because I made the call and they knew the ties that I had with my dad and everything. So she died. Oh my god. And uh, it took her dying for me to fucking clean up the drugs. You know. So I quit that. I'm pretty much completely sober now. I, I don't even drink. Um, but yeah. I uh, packed up my things. I needed to be somewhere else, so I uh, made my way to San Andreas, looking for people who hated cops as much as I did, and then I found the BBMC, and then here I am. Holy shit. Yeah. It's a tough story to tell, but those are my roots. Thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah. It means a lot. So what exactly led you here? <laughs> I guess I kind of told you, but... 
Uh, so, you know, I grew up in a small town where everyone knew each other. You know, rumor mill, word gets around. You know, it, it, it was a very comfortable place until it wasn't. My dad was a deputy working there, looking after the people, and mm. I grew up working on a ranch. You know, it was uh, me, me and my me and my mother working on that together. It was it was good. Mm. Uh, didn't have much time. You know, my dad didn't have much time for it, so it was kind of like our thing. I was very close to my mother, but that, that's what got me into. Uh, veterinary kind of stuff. I, I worked on the ranch and I wanted to help animals and one thing led to another, you know, and I, I trained up in it and got the qualifications and, and did that for a while. But, uh, my mother was kidnapped by a gang and treated pretty fucking horribly as part of some kind of plan to get to my dad. I, I didn't really ask questions. I was still pretty young at the time. And it kind of just fucked my mother up. Bad. I mean, even now, she it's been years and she, she won't leave the house and she doesn't trust anybody. And Like I said to you, my dad was kind of like trying to, trying to prove to her that it was going to be okay and that she could still kind of live a life and, and be some kind of normal after what happened to her uh, and and so he has spent a lot of time trying to prove that to her and kind of you know showed to me that people even even the worst kinds of people can can change or whatever and I don't know I'm right. kind of rambling but I, I wanted to make a bigger change and kind of <laughs> I thought if I if I could come to to Los Santos and do something big here and, you know, ha leave my mark in, in the force, then I could kind of tell my mother, like, it's going to be okay. You know, I, I, I did this. Right. You know, it's I'm I'm in this big old city and I'm safe and I'm okay. And, you know, like, there's there's good people and I don't know. I, I wanted to just, I wanted to make her feel safer by, by making this place safe. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it. Like, prove a point, kind of. Mm-hmm. So I came here, and, you know, within days, I was trying to apply to the fucking BCSO, and I was talking to people, and I was, you know, making friends, and went on a couple of ride-alongs, and, you know, immediately started questioning everything, because it was just all fucked up what I was hearing and seeing. You know, I watched the PD Live, I spoke to fucking... Johnny Paps, I, I made friends with the Ballers and heard their stories and what they went through. Which is still crazy to me why, why D is fucking LSPD because he told me all the horrible shit that they fucking did to him. But, uh, yeah, I came here. I came here trying to make a change from the inside and ended up wanting to right. fucking burn it all down instead. Oh, yeah. I'm here to burn down every corrupt establishment there is, starting with the PD. But, uh, I'm glad you understand that we are not good people. I'm not a good person. No one really is. I mean, you can do good things, but it doesn't make you a good person. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you telling me that. I appreciate you sharing all this with me. It's been nice. It's nice to be open with somebody. Because there's some club members who don't even know about my history, but they haven't asked. The only one who has is Dundee. Dundee knows. I don't tell people unless they ask. I'm glad I asked. It's, it's, it's interesting to me how you can meet someone... You know, in, in any situation, right? And, and you know, start to get to know them or whatever. And, like, your, your paths have kind of merged in that moment, you know? But, like, <laughs> your lives have been so completely fucking different. But they've kind of, like, come together into kind of a similar vein somehow. 
even though it's, it was completely right. differently lit to it. I find it really interesting. I don't know. Yeah. I enjoy the city. I hate the grind of the city, but I love the people that I meet. For the most part, at least. I'm glad our paths have crossed. Some would say uh, fate had a, a hand in it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we just needed to rob that 24-7. <laughs> I was, I was, yeah, I was outside Senior Buns fucking playing a song for someone, and then uh, as soon as the song ended, there was Dundee saying, put your fucking hands up, get in the car. Yeah, that's Dundee. Uh, I fucking love that, man. He... He terrifies me. Oh, does Absolutely. he? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, it means it's, uh, <laughs> he's doing his job. Yeah, true. But it's not him you should worry about. But I'm sure you know that when it comes to the people of this city. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was scared of him, but I knew he wasn't going to hurt me because, you know, well, I mean, it's common sense. You get fucking taken hostage. Yep. You just listen to what they say. You don't fucking... Yeah. You don't become an asshole about it, and so... Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was a bit softer-spoken whenever I found out, you know, you know, you were a ball was hanging and stuff. I was like, oh, she, she's, she's one of us. A lot of the times we shit talk. You had a gun on you, too, didn't you? And we let you keep it. Yeah, yeah, it was real nice. Yeah, I just took it out of your fucking belt loops. So you wouldn't fucking pull a quick one on us. <laughs> Ballers hang around lights yeah. up the BBMC in the middle of a store Could you robbery. imagine? Could you imagine? No, I, I, I oh. can't imagine it because I'd be dead now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would be in the ground. He would have fucking killed me first. <laughs> He'd be like, what the fuck? Why'd you let that happen? I needed silence. <laughs> yeah, Dundee is very hard on me. But, uh. Probably for the best. He's loosened up a lot because I was just a fucking idiot whenever I came to this city. I had a drive to do these things, but him and the rest of the club really shaped me into who I am. Not just Dundee, a big part of it was Rusty. He's our, uh. He's our vice prime minister. He was the one who really brought me in and just kept me around. And mm -hmm. that man believed in me when I wouldn't even believe in myself. And, uh, Aww. yeah. So I have nothing but respect for that man. I love all my club members, but, you know, there's always certain people you gravitate towards. And, uh, I gravitated towards Rusty. I'd like you to meet him one day. He's just kind of taking a bit of a break from the city. That'd be nice. Yeah. He's, uh, He's great. I fucking love him. We fucking... Do you know who Brooks and Dunn is? The fucking country artist? I, I feel like you mentioned... You, you you said this at the fucking store robbery. Uh, and I still haven't They're listened. the ones who made the Boot Scoop Boogie. The Boot Scoop Boogie song. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Brooks and Dunn. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we, uh... <laughs> we kind of look like them, so we'll fucking joke about it and shit like that. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love for you to meet him. That'd be great. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to meet more people. I think, like, we're a very tight group with the ballers. Like, mm -hmm. we have the two different sets as well, so it's even like smaller. Like when it's when it's, you know, like it's it's a very small circle, and I think that's also why so much petty shit pops off because it's such a small group of people. You're just like around them all the time, always. Yeah. I need to like, I need to get out. I need to like, you know, meet other groups. I need to, you know, see, see what else is out there. Not, not for me to like fucking flop, but like for me to, you know, have opportunities and get to know people and, and make fun memories, you know? Yeah. I can't be well, shackled have to bring down. You, I have to bring you down here more. I'd love that. This is a nice place. I mean, I think I look good in Vespucci, I'm just saying. I think you look good anywhere, but... As far as doing Vespucci, work. Yeah, Vespucci uh, compliments you very well. Just gotta learn to surf now. 
I don't even know how to surf, so you don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> how can it be a beach boy and not know how to surf? What? I can ride the fuck out of a jet ski, though. Oh. Yeah. Don't don't tempt me. I'll I'll hop on the back of that. Let's go. Let's when get we can grab a lockpick. We'll go. Come on. Yeah, for real. Yeah, come on. Uh, I got a. Oh fuck! Where did it go? Ah. You got a what? No, I thought I thought I had one, but I I think it fucking died. Yeah, I fucking gotta go get a new one. <laughs>